We're here in the final hour of voting at the county clerk's office in Norwalk, and voters are still showing up to vote. But that's really thanks to the poll workers who are here to help with this process and make sure that it runs seamlessly. It happens every two years, and with each general election, it takes an estimated one million poll workers to assist with a variety of responsibilities necessary for a safe and fair election. In any other election year other than 2020, I was a check-in clerk, and my job would be to, you know, get people's names, check them against the registration database. USC senior James Aaron Guerin was a poll worker in 2020 in Santa Barbara County. Because the vast majority of people that were at least coming to my polling place were people who had been told that voting by mail was either not safe or would be fraudulent. There was a lot of apprehension and it was my job to get them through the system in a secure way that at least made them feel like their voice had been heard after they had left the site. But since James volunteered in 2020, there's been a shortage of poll workers due to serious threats and safety concerns. This shortage can mean longer lines and reduced polling locations, making it more challenging for voters to access the ballot box. The Brennan Center for Justice reported that one in six election workers has experienced threats while on the job, and 77% surveyed feel that those threats have increased in recent years. More than one in four are also concerned about being assaulted while working. 20% of election workers say they don't plan to work in the next general election in 2024. Despite the negative experiences of many polling volunteers, others are excited about engaging with their community while performing their civic duty. I learned about the nationwide shortage of poll workers, and I called up my uh, town clerk's office and asked what the situation was like in, our, in my hometown. And she said, we're in big trouble uh, come both the primaries and the general election. She said that I will take all the poll workers I can get. Although Alicia is aware of potential threats and harassment she might encounter on election night, she said she felt more determined and encouraged to sign up and help her neighbors cast their ballots. We need poll workers to run our elections. We need people to make sure our democracy functions. Now more than ever before, it's important to recognize poll workers who are essential to the voting process. For Annenberg Media, I'm Liza Monasabian.